Okay, hello and welcome to this video. I gotta make another video about Suffolk County Transit because apparently it was buried, but News 12 actually did do a video covering this uh, on October 31st, and uh, I was just made aware of it today. Uh, and uh, this is about the Suffolk County bus redesign uh, called Reimagine Transit. And they actually did cover this, but no surprise, look where he's standing. Route 27A, he's on the South Shore. Not surprising, and that's the lar that's largely Route the two. area that benefits from this uh, reimagined transit. Uh, and areas on the North Shore are uh, dealing with a difficult situation. So we're going to play this video here. Just for you. rolled out two days ago, but riders are already complaining about the new Suffolk bus schedule. News 12's Kevin Vesey explains the trouble some say they're having and, with Suffolk yeah, Transit. They brought up Siena Village too. We have no access to the outside world. Kathleen Pratt and her now. friends say they feel trapped now that the bus they relied on no longer comes to their senior citizen complex in Smithtown. Now I can't go to a lot of places I used to go to. The S-56 bus route was eliminated as part of a major overhaul of Suffolk Transit, which began on Sunday. The initiative, called Reimagine Transit, promises more frequent service and buses at night and on weekends. I'm sorry, but they but in exchange, the number of, of overall routes was cut from 41 to 27. Well, it's gotten a lot easier for me. Joe Soto takes the bus from Bayshore to his job in Northport at Regalo Trattoria and Pizza Bar. He says the addition of night it's service Bayshore, means he no South longer Shore. has to spend $50 a day taking a taxi home $50 from work. Day, that's it's how really helpful. Taxis cost. You know, and I'm glad that it's uh, something that they did off. that they should have done probably a while ago. Suffolk County Executive Steve, ah, Ballone, Steve Ballone says Ballone. the new system was developed after dozens of community meetings over two years. He says ridership is now expected to increase, which in turn would bring a boost in state funding. There's 50% more access to jobs today with the new system than previously, and uh, about three times as many people have access to frequent service than they did before the change. At the expense of people, particularly on now, the Now, Suffolk Shore. County did not make any and large announcement about this change through the media. Instead, they say they alerted riders directly on board buses and at bus stops. Meanwhile, if your route was canceled, the county executive says you can dial 311 to find out what your transportation options are going forward. Joe? Now, obviously, for those Just people in Siena Village, uh, that because it is a senior citizen, they are eligible for SEAT. And that's what they're going to have to use uh, because uh, there's no more fixed service. They're going to have to take SCAT. Uh, that is an option. SCAT covers the whole county except for Huntington, I believe, except for trips wholly within Huntington or something like that. Uh, but this is the area that, uh, that, that, that I've spoken about, Siena Village Recovery. We spoke, we spoke about this. Uh, and, yeah, they're cut off because the, where this place is located is not – it's not a walkable area. I mean, it's – this is where it's located, all right? So if you're in Siena Village now and you need a bus, you're going to have to walk down this road. And if you're a senior, forget it. I mean, you can't do this. There's no sidewalk. It's dark at night. I mean, um, there's a bike. I guess there's a bike lane. But, I mean, this is a walk that you have to do. And I don't think it's right what they did. I really don't. Um uh, and this discrimination against seniors. I mean, look at what they did with Cavalton Hills, too, as well. So we're still not there yet. We still have to walk over here. It looks like maybe there's a little bit of a sidewalk over here, but you've got to walk all the way over here to catch the bus, and you're going to have to walk all the way over here to catch the... Um, which route is this? The 5? The 5? Yeah. There's only one route now that going th goes through Smithtown, and that's the 5. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, this would be it right here. So you'd have to walk all the way over here. This is uh, where it branches off to Old Willett's Path, which would be where we're going to get to the map here. Actually, where's Old Willett's Path? Uh, Old Willett's Path? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, right here. So, yeah. No, it comes off Old Wilt's Path, and then, yeah, you'd have to get the bus somewhere over here, I guess, in this area here. But this is a walk. I mean, if you're in Siena Village, you got to walk out of Siena Village. 
Um, they're going to have to take SCAT. Uh, that's that's how they're going to have to do it. And, they, you know, they cut off Kings Park, too, you know. Um, so it's not right. This is about a mile of walking. And if you're a senior citizen, forget it. You, you know, this is too much. Uh, you know, and yeah, a lot of people depended on it. I used to take the 56, and I, and I saw the seniors depend on it. And I honestly think that they should have done something about this. I don't think it was right to cut them off. Um, you know, you could have actually had... Could have actually had the 51 maybe even serve them just to make a left and then go into the loop into here or something. But they're going to have to take SCAT. That's what's going to have to happen for them and a lot of the other people who are disabled luckily have that option. But the problem with SCAT is you got to schedule it in advance. So if you want to make a spur of the moment trip, well, sorry, you can't do that. And that's the problem uh, that, that these people have. And they're going to be walking along Route 25. And I'm sure the taxis... We'll be enjoying ripping them off as well. Um, you know, I think it's disgraceful that you did this to save the seniors and the disabled, especially. That's what pisses me off. But we all know what Long Island thinks of the seniors and the disabled. They don't want us here. Uh, and, and the way they did this whole, you know, reimagined transit thing kind of sends the message that they don't want us here. You know? And, uh, um, you know, I... I when I look at the map, I, I you know you see this big black hole over here. I mean, over Kings Park. Um, I don't think it's right. How much more would it have cost to maybe extend the forty-one to Siena Village or something? You know, I mean, they could have done that. I mean, not this isn't the forty-one anymore. The uh, what route is this? The seven. Couldn't you extend the seven to Siena Village? Um, or extended to Smithtown. Um, I don't think it's right. You know, I don't think it's right at all what they did to those people. I don't think it's right at all. And uh, hopefully, you know, SCAT may need to think about having a, a, a demand response uh, thing, uh, you know, so people who are disabled don't have to call in advance, uh, you know, like a days in advance and set it up. They can call and get a bus within an hour. How about that? That's the least you can do. So, um, Again, another possible Title VI violation, uh, which uh, this thing is a, guilty of many Title VI violations. Uh, yeah, improved service for a lot of people, but you know, you're screwing people who are disabled, who are in limited incomes, and that's a violation of Title VI. That's what Title VI law is supposed to prevent. So um, you have to offer an alternative. If you're not going to have a fixed route service, then you need to provide them with maybe a demand response service, uh, you know, and also SCAT uh, costs more, too. That's the other thing, I think. I don't know what the fare is for it, uh, uh, but uh, SCAT, let's see, it's $4 per trip. So that's another thing. So it's going to cost more people. It's going to cost more than the dollar, the 75 cents that they would pay uh, to, uh, right. So that's another thing that they would need to do, I think, also, is to actually have the fare lowered to 75 cents. For those people who are in that uh, Siena Village, I think that they should have uh, some kind of special arrangement. Uh, at the very least, that's the very least they can do. So um, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.